The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. We're looking at this last day of the week, Friday the 14th of January. Dow's down 170 at 35,948. You'll see here in the YM, which is the futures, um, the pattern earlier on, it looked like, whoa, 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 whoa uh, rallying early on. Uh, it goes weak, goes strong, and then woof. Goes down under the 50 period moving average and then comes back. You'll see it now in the cash, INDU. And we're looking at the Dow, uh, down 174, 35,939. Just make it as simple as possible. Anytime next week, if there is a close, first of all, underneath the left side low of 35,639. Oh, I need to show this because I haven't shown this pattern for a couple of days. Um, in, the pat in the patterns we look at in the Chapman Wave methodology, we're looking at three major patterns. Straight up, straight down, that's number one. Cup formation, that's number two. Arch formation, that's number three. So you can get combinations of one and two or one and three. Combination of one and three is the dreaded H. Why is it called the dreaded H? Because it comes down sharply, has a rally, goes to only a peak A or a B. That's just one or two peaks from that bottom. Then it arches over. And then it takes out that left side low, and it can go a lot lower. And you can see this right here. You see right there from the all-time high of 36,565 that was made in uh, November the 8th. We had the dreaded H pattern, went under it, and it really tanked. It went down to 34,022, first of December. Huge move up, and now we've got that same pattern, that arch formation. Will it take it out? You, you know... The MAGD is very weak. The stochastic is very weak. The on-balance volume is very weak. But the 9 is still above the 14. So close to crossing negative, as soon as that changes to pink, then you've got a pattern that says cell mode in place, cell signal being upgraded to cell mode confirmation. And then you see all those support levels. Look at this up channel with the channel wave inside track propellant zone. It worked fine this morning. The day is young. It's attempting to rally. It's got a gap to the downside. There are enough stocks. Of course, it was the financials that really took a hit this morning. I guess it was JP Morgan that did that. So the financials were doing great. Went to a leg E yesterday. And now it's a peak E in the Chapman Wave daily chart. So the XLF is trading, ups trading at um, 40.70, down 0.56. No big deal after what it's done. Coming from the 37 area, this is a fantastic move, uh, but it has impacted almost all the banks. And as a result, uh, this is an area, and this is very interesting because it's an area with a TLT down, meaning yields are going higher, should be helping the banks. And that's why I always say yields going higher, bonds going lower helps, but it isn't the only thing in the financial sector. You've got earnings, you've got, you know, you hear it all the time that the banks have been, uh, they were coerced and now they very much, their paperwork, the due diligence and everything that they've done so far seems, I wouldn't say to be impeccable, but the reserves that they've built up, it's just the exact opposite of 2007, 2008, 2009. That's important. But you know that major calamities in the stock market always, 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 you can go back in history, just, you know, to the beginning of, of measuring these moves, and you will find that at every major top, the banks have done the wrong thing for months. And finally, the, the proof of the pudding it comes, it comes about to find that they are in dire trouble, and that exacerbates any really negative move in the market, meaning crash or major recessionary aspects, etc. All right. So with that said, at this particular point, when you look at a uh, stock, let's let's go to City. I've updated. Yeah, Peak C in the daily chart, not as good as the other ones. J.P. Morgan, uh, Peak G. A doji candle yesterday, plummets today down almost 5%. I think this is the problem, 159.96. Wasn't I hearing uh, for the last week or so, 
how great J.P. Morgan was? I thought I kept hearing that. Well, I might be wrong. I usually don't listen all that well. I'm usually doing my own work. I just like to have a reminder of what charts to look at for symbols. If I'm looking at CNBC or, or uh, um, uh, Bloomberg, so <laughs> all I can say is that this is not a peak D in the monthly chart, peak D in the weekly, and this recent peak G slide. We'll see what happens. Uh, that's J.P. Morgan, our Bank of America that we've had from 30, uh, 31. Uh, hit 50.08 the other day, trading at 47.93, down 83 cents. A much nicer uh, pattern, made an all-time high uh, on the, was that the 6th, no, the 10th, 10th of January, 50.08. Um, leg D in the weekly chart, peak D, a leg D in the monthly chart. I see a digestive phase. Oh, did I mention JP Morgan? Look at that huge island reversal, a whopper of an eyeball. The day is young. But so far, there's an island reversal. Let's continue. Uh, I got, I, I moved away from what we were looking at because I wanted to show that um, not all things are equal, even in the bank sector. You're looking at certain ones of Wells Fargo, WFC. Everyone's been talking about how fantastic that stock is. Yep, and there it is. And and this is one of, this is one of the weaker ones on a morality curve. Remember, Wells Fargo over the last couple of decades, I mean, they are really doing, they have done things that were very, very questionable. And yeah, they are from the item reversal low of about the 20th in the 46 area. We're looking at 57, a new recovery high. What is this Wells Fargo? Is this an all-time high? I don't think so. You never know. Let's just pull this back. No, all-time high was that move up into the, I think it was January, yeah, January 18, 2018, 66.31. Had a little bit of a pullback to the 20 area, 21 was it? 20.76 March. So this is a fantastic move now. It's almost tripled. Uh, let's go to BRK.B. I, today I promised myself I will go through some sectors quite carefully. I've had so many questions about them. Let me do this. So this is part of the financial XLF. This is peak B, peak C, leg D, uh, possibly a, maybe a peak D today in Berkshire Hathaway. Remember, I've always had tremendous admiration for uh, Warren Buffett in the sense that I've always said there are a lot of companies that have holding companies or they have the, the company itself is made up of buying paper. So they have a lot of paper in all these companies. Um, but Warren Buffett has the companies. <clears throat> yes, he has paper. But he also. Excuse me. He has enough of companies to say that he is in the business itself. Uh, he might not always run it. I know that from, from here in Massachusetts, there was this uh, furniture company, Jordan's two brothers owned it. I think one of them actually, I, I don't think went to at least the same school as my kids. Um, so I, I kind of followed them. Uh, one brother got sold out when Berkshire bought them. But the idea was that they would both in the beginning be running the company. One, I think, still is in the company. He does the ads. And uh, they, I mean, they are, seem to be doing very, very well. And that's the way he runs companies. Uh, and I, I'm impressed. All-time high, I believe, in Berkshire Hathaway, 320. Down 49 cents right now. Dow's down 210. S&P is down 8. Lot to talk about. And I, yes, yes, I'll talk about what positions we have. I'll be back. <laughs> that's a trap and target technicians. Uh, are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, uh, folks. We're back, and we're looking at Royal Dutch Shell, PLC, and ADS, uh, multinational oil uh, in the Netherlands, I believe it is. And we're looking at Leg C at 50.09. The daily chart, MACD, strong stochastics, flat at 95%. That's fantastic. On balance volumes, a tad overbought, but really good. Had two big gaps to the upside. I think it will still make a Leg D. It'll make that Leg D in the monthly chart above uh, 50.44 made in October of 2021. Um, and as I'm looking at it, it is, yes, it's getting a little toppy with a double top formation. But if you look at the way the technicals are really moving to the upside in the weekly chart, I just have to consider that um, like CVX, uh, this is uh, Chevron, making a new uh, high today, recovery high at 128 legs C. They all have further to, uh, further to go. Um, a question I had, uh, let's see. Um, do, do you have any oil? Yes, uh, we have uh, MRO. MRO, uh, it's trading at 19.34. It's two points higher than where we bought it at 17.30. Today we took a tad off. I want to just... Just to reward us for for it being in the right area for this particular type of stock, um, so we took a little bit off at nine uh, nineteen fourteen one penny a buyer above yesterday. So I still leg C. Remember all the charts we're looking at here in the oil. This is oil service marathon oil. Um, very very nice action and that long term weekly resistance area. The, the week is young. We still got the whole day to go until four o'clock. But so far, it's nicely above the uh, trend line resistance. And we, I, I, the pattern that I did in the cup formation with the left side, right side price time match, this is almost inverse of the uh, dreaded H pattern. It's the, the reverse Y. Said that 18.93 was my first target. Uh, we've already done that. And that's really important. And it says that any time you start to trade into this final ugly candle that made the the high, the most recent major high back in October of 2018 at 24.20, as soon as you can get halfway into this ugly bar, this particular bar here, it means that at some point in the next month or two, if there is a push into the uh, 21, let's call it 2140s, there's a good chance you're going to test that high of 20. 
4.28. Uh, so this is Marathon Oil, major support in the 1790 to 1730 area now. Uh, I say major because if it really tumbles below that, it says, whoops, we're getting a rotation through all the different sectors, and this one will start to fall as well. Yes, TSM is going to be working. So I had a bunch of questions now, but I wanted to get to one. I'm going to just go in order of the questions, first of all, in the den right here. EEMV, EEMV. So this must be the value. Uh, yeah, it is. It is the uh, – iShares MSCI min volume uh, min volume EM ETF. Gee, I don't even know what that is. Um, I thought it was the value stock of the EEM, which is the uh, look. Yeah, EEM EEM is the um, this is the same thing. iShares MSC emerging market ETF. Uh, low volatility. Oh, it's a low volatility ETM. A better chart than the EEM. Yeah, you're right. So let's just do that again. EEMV, I believe you, you were looking at. Yeah. So this isn't. This is a, a better looking. This is almost like the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, looking lousy. But the IWM for N for Nancy. The value one holding much better. Still not great, but holding way better. So, yeah, let's just do that again. EMV, and I'll just give you parameters that we're looking at here. EMV trading at 165, down 9 cents. I would just say that if it'll make the arch formation, that dreaded H formation, if, in fact, just draw it in here, it made a peak C. Uh, that's a little different. Oh, wait, wait, what are we looking at? Wrong thing. I'm looking at the IWM. It's only that we want the E E M V. There we go. Okay, so that's a big cup formation. I need to do a little bit more work on the monthly, uh, the weekly chart. There we go, weekly chart in the middle. Yes, that's what I want you to see. A rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience, and it's just stuck in the range. And at 63.85, it says it's got tremendous resistance at about 65.80s and tremendous support at the 60.25, 60.30 area. It's just stuck in the middle. So this is slightly different, but it has the pattern that says, well, why are we talking about this? Let me go to the next thing we're looking at, which is the SMHs. SMH, which is trading up 3.99 right now. Um, same sort of thing with a sideways pattern. And the, a bunch of questions have come up about the uh, uh, SM. H, the semiconductor index. 318.82 was the high of the 22nd of November, and 290 was the low just a couple of weeks later. Now what we're looking at is it's in a slightly declining trend line, and it keeps going between these two ranges. So one of the questions I had was, question, which let me go to it right now. Yeah, so SMA support. Where, hi, Basil. Where do you see decent support in the wealth in the weekly, monthly uh, for the SMH? I'm planning to use this as a strong indicator of next market turn up. Thanks, Kevin. So, Kevin, all I'm going to say is today's action, it's early. I suspect in a sell mode because of the nine period moving average under the 14 period moving average, even though it's in the rectangle formation. The next move, I could be so wrong, and I want to talk about this in more detail. Actually, you know, I want to talk about it in more detail, but I, I deserve to do something for um, Jane yesterday. She, she sent it in. I didn't see it until the very, uh, just about the end of the, the session was too late. Um, I, so I'm going to do this now. I'm, I will come back because I want to spend a little time, Technical Friday, I want to spend a little time on the SMHs, on all, many of them. But CCL is Carnival, Carnival Corporation, this is Carnival Cruise. So it had a fantastic uh, decline, a decline that really came about from the 73-ish area uh, back in 2018, January, I believe it is. I, I would say that a decline <clears throat> from that level <clears throat> to the double bottom of 7.90 and 7.80 um, in March and April of 2020, that constitutes a pretty serious decline. That's COVID. There's no question about it, right? Um, 
But I suspect there are a lot of people that are wanting very much to get back to vacationing. Not only that, there are a lot of people, even though we're talking about inflation everywhere you go, there are a lot of t- people that have been so confined, have actually not been going to restaurants, have not been going to the Boston Symphony Orchestra, they have not been going to the Huntington Theatre. They haven't, they've been pulling back and just kind of being very, very cautious. What I mean by that is a lot of people from 60 years and older and much older who really were part of the big, certainly in the Boston area and all the major cities, part of the entertainment audience who definitely pulled back and just did not do very much outdoor stuff. And they're waiting for these cruises. They're waiting for all these activities. They're waiting for the restaurants. And they are waiting. They are not the Disney crowd. That's something else for me. They're the ones that have built up a lot of equity. And Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And, of course, during the break, I must have moved about seven stages away from what I was originally talking about, which means that I had to check out to see where I was. CCL, trading at down 38 cents at 22.52. So, Jane... I suspect just from the way you asked the question, this is something that you either are in for a little while or you're looking to get in. CCL Carnival Cruise. You see this 200 period moving average has gone from the 16 area all the way to 22 uh, over a period of a month. 
And now it's stuck at that 200 period exponential moving average of 22.54. My thinking here, and I, 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 I just on a purely medical basis, uh, yeah, I see the journals, I see many things. I don't read them as thoroughly as I should, but I, I, I do. My wife being a physician, I, it's just something that I, I, I do. Um, so. It seems to me that this is like, you know, I talk about the internal low and the residual low, the earthquake and then the aftershock. And I look at that in mar the market very often. I always say that at the, the low that's made, there's a technical configuration that says, wow, we just took out a major support, etc. And now we've got a little V-shaped pattern. How does that evolve? And how does it resolve? Um, and then... The news ex accelerates and the politicians come in, whatever it is, doesn't matter. And all of a sudden you get 500 million uh, masks being ordered and not the regular ones, the 95s, whatever. The money gets spent at the end of this, just an incredible whoosh like helicopters throwing money out the window. But I would not be surprised if on a purely practical level, the internal low of COVID has been made, and the residual low is in the in the in in the in the process of being formed. It can take a little while because we know from history. If you read any book about uh, uh, epidemics, you, you know that when it finally resolves, it kind of just disappears. But it disappears from the news. It, it's still there, but it's much less. And that's why I'm saying that I think that Carnival Cruise. There are so many people. Maybe they, they they tried it earlier. They they did get infected, so they're not going to go on a cruise very quickly. But I would suspect by the summertime, there will be a lot of people wanting to do something like cruises, outdoor activity, etc. Um, so all I can say is, I like the pattern. I like what's forming. I I can just give you parameters to look for at twenty two point fifty two. I would not like to see a weekly close above uh, below twenty. I'd actually put it at nineteen point thirty five ish area. A close below that says, uh oh, could have another final round of, of of negativity just going back to test the sixteen area, which was the low uh, early December. But looking out. The pattern in the monthly chart says perhaps by September, October, CCL will be trading in that ugly bar right there from January of 2020 and be up in the 40 area or maybe even higher, 37 to 42. That's kind of the area that I'd be looking at. I hope that helps you. Let's just keep an eye on this. We'll look at it periodically. Um, I'm not giving up on, on, on looking at areas that could, in fact, uh, be extremely uh, positive, and I'm including in that list Disney. Although Disney taken a real hit today, down five percent, down three percent, you know, off, down five and a half at one forty nine. This is in that category, but it's a completely different area because yes, you have the Disney parks, etc., but you've also got a whole bunch of media. There's, there's something this is more complex. So that's something completely different. I think also Disney looking out is going to look very good. But right now it's, it's in, in a hazardous area. So now that now I've done that. So I, ho I hope that helps you. So a question about UVXY, uh, UVXY. Keep an eye on this. This is the this is the the metric. This is the barometer. This is your little barometer you're staring at for the weather. Zero percent, zero degrees. We were the other day, Monday, Monday into Tuesday here in Boston. <laughs> zero, zero. You stare and can't believe it. Uh, yep, zero. I, usually, I always say January the sixth is minus six. It doesn't mean that way for a long time, but it used to be quite often. So um, we're all looking at. Uh, the barometer of the market right now saying, yeah, the Dow's down 230, the S&P's down 12, and the UVXY, the volatility index, this is a trading vehicle, the, the uh, ProShares Ultra VIX short uh, um, index, it's 12.99 right now, up 43. Let's put it this way. If by after 130 to 215 this afternoon, the Dow is still down 220 or more, uh, the S&P now down 13, but actually is down 15. That UVXY will close towards the high of the day.
But if for any reason there's some buy in, I, I said to subscribers, be careful because I think by the end of the day, if there is weakness going into the early afternoon, <clears throat> You could people say, I, I don't want over the long weekend because we, do, we don't come back until Tuesday because of the Martin Luther King Day. Um, I, I don't want to be long over the weekend or overly long, and they'll probably lighten up quite a bit. So just make sure at 13.02 right now, if the VIX in UVXY, not the VIX itself, I'll go to that in a moment, is trading in the 13.53 or higher area with really a strong triple-digit down move in the Dow and the, and the S&P closer to minus 20, that's going to give you a lousy close. Now, I need to do this. Um, I don't want to skip too many things. Things here. Um, I haven't finished some parts of my overview. Um, remember, we were looking earlier on at the FXI, that's China, and I said there could be a pretty a pretty nice bounce. I don't think it's ready for the big move to the upside, but th there's enough rotational aspect here to say that the China big, the large caps. Uh, ETF FXI trading up 26 cents at 38 right now could move towards this trend line that I was looking at at about 39.50. I'll make it real simple. If any week, it doesn't have to usually I say two out of three weeks, I'm just saying any week, one week, there is a close in the 40.30 area in the FXI. That would say for the first time that we're looking at China seeing some buying come in instead of this constant drumbeat of sell every rally, make lower lows and lower highs. So I'm just going to say that's what I'm looking at. And I'll just make it real simple at 238 right now. Any day, this is now a daily chart. If any day there is a close below 37, four days ago, what was that low? 36.76. If there is a close below 36.76, it says not ready for prime time at all. Be really careful. And in fact, I'm just going to say that my my belief in the whole China aspect, China stocks, China, stay away for now. I still think there's enough problems in America. We don't have to, American stocks, we don't have to be going to China right now. So if that helps you, um, so just for the, for the day, it's holding a little bit better. Uh, than the others, but please, those are the parameters to watch. I'd much, I'd much rather you have a bigger picture of China right now, and that says, still on an intermediate term basis, the 54.33 high of the of February of 2021, and the most recent low in the 35s, is telling you that this is still a place. Uh, it's hazardous to your health and maybe to your wealth. The next question I had was, okay, I, I will give a very thorough reading of SMHs. Oh, Exxon, uh, uh, baseball eyeballs. Exxon is leg D right now in the weekly, leg C in the, in, sorry, leg D in the daily, leg C in the Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on a cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Just a real quickly, I had a couple of questions. I'm going to do that before I go to the uh, semis. Uh, I didn't even finish looking at gold, silver, etc. We'll do that in a moment. Uh, yeah, this is uh, AMLP is uh, Alarian, Alarian MLP ETF. I'm not sure exactly the ETF. I, I don't know what it is. So, um, so in the meantime, back at the ranch. Oh, I forgot to put that in there. Huh? Um, yeah, this is acting very well. It's trading 36.19, up 34 cents in a day like this, where most of the indexes are very weak. I am looking at it saying, suggesting to you that it is in a buy mode in the daily chart. It needs to break this downtrend line, this W formation with lower highs and lower lows in the daily, in the weekly chart. It needs to really close in 36.85 to 30, 37.28-ish area, just kind of up there. Uh, on a weekly basis to say, you know what, that's really important. And certainly if we can close above the high that was made on the week of the doji candle, the week of October, click, 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 there is October the 22nd, 37.24. Yeah, if we can close the 37.80 area on a weekly basis, that's really important. It has a good chance to make a leg C. I don't know what they do, but we're just looking at the, um, we're looking at the um, chart itself. Very, very nice chart. Left side high is 37 right there of 37. On the 21st of October, it goes to 37.24. That's the one um, that you want to be focusing on. Uh, and it is a peak C. It should make a leg D uh, very soon. All right, now let's go, let's go to gold. Gold trading right now unchanged at 1821. The sideways move is really important. You know, I always say trend lines are really important. But you're going to break a long-term trend line just by time alone, very often by moving sideways. Well, that's exactly what you've done here. So it's much more important to be focusing right now on the cup formation uh, an inverted dreaded H, like a Y, a reverse Y in this particular case, because it's going to the upside. And uh, all, all I can say is that the weekly chart is just stuck in a range. The monthly chart is even stuck in the in the range. But the daily charts starting to improve. Look, you got to 75% now in the stochastic. You really want 82% and then higher to keep going higher. But the fact that the dollar, well, first of all, let me just finish this up. Uh, gold, if at any point next week, if there's just even one single pop into the 1837 area, you have started to make higher highs and higher lows. The stochastic almost certainly get to 80%. The MACD will be holding well. And your R9 period over the 14 period moving average. So far, this is acting pretty nicely, but not good enough in the sense that Yesterday should really have been a move that punched into the 1828 area or higher. Instead, it kind of meandered, went right. It got held back by the Chapman Wave inside track um, repellent line, 
which is now trying to become a propellant line, and it got stuck right there. So that's really important. I, in a way, I'm very impressed with goals. In a way, I'm very disappointed. I think a lot of people must feel that way. And it's very selective because, first of all, silver has got nothing like this particular chart pattern. Look at the silver chart. Silver is trading. Am I going to have time? Yep, I'll have time. Silver is trading down. At 15 cents a trade, it's just stuck, stuck, stuck. It is trying also to get above the trend line uh, resistance and turn that into support. But it's the dollar. Look, the dollar is attempting to have a little bit of, of a rally. It's up 12 cents at 94.99. But it is decisively taken out that support in the rectangle formation. Now, 95.52 is going to be really important. But there's a chance, and I've seen this before, where finally it breaks down from the rectangle. And then it just, it's so quick. That it has to go back to pick it again to get its coat because it's so cold or something. Well, what to say goodbye to its friends, and then it continues down. So I'm not sure how much more there is on the upside for for the dollar, but it, gold is telling us that it isn't quite ready for at least short term prime time, but it will be if it can get into the 1830s. All right, and now I need to just look at. So that was the dollar EUR. USD, don't run out of time, don't run out of time. Yep, there's your leg E, maybe a peak E. It's gone out of its rectangle formation to the upside. It might have to come back and visit, I don't know, visit the 1.138 area um, at 1.114 right now, uh, 1.142. Um, question I had about the GDX. Yeah, you see, this is the proof of the pudding. The GDX is a little weak today, 26 cents down. At 30.98, cannot break above the uh, falling axe formation and the resistance level. I'm just going to say um, this is a good, good clue because you want the, the gold miners, you want the miners to show you the strength in what's being made in gold, not gold itself. So I want to see... 30.50 uh, area hold in the GDX on a closing basis. But absolutely, it isn't just a pop up. And I don't know what's going to give the trigger for it, but it has to close above 31.74, the high of uh, two day, three days ago, two, three days ago. I want to see close above that so you can start to tackle the 32s. That's the GDX. Not bad action. It's just not good enough right now. And the weekly chart says, yeah, it's not great at all. So the GDX, these are different charts, and that's what I'm saying. If you look at your different stocks, they're all doing different things in the gold area. Okay, a couple of things we want to look at here. Crude oil. Crude oil is, in fact, holding very nicely. It's in leg. I'm going to call this F for now. I could give it a um, chamber of instant restart, F slash B. I don't need to. It's F. It's strong. Uh, MACD is good. Stochastic, great at 93% on balance volume. It's tad overbought. A relative strength has been improving fantastically. Um, and we're getting the potential V-shaped pattern or the double top. And we're going to be watching this really closely on the crude oil to see how does it get repelled like so many chart patterns recently. The left side high gets retested on the right side, and most of the time we've seen failure patterns at 83.65 on the high of, whoops, 84.18, the high of the 20, week of the 29th of October. You want to see not just a move above it, but a push right through 85 into the 86.50 area on a closing basis in the weekly. That'll also make leg E up in the monthly chart. All right, here we go. Semiconductors. Semiconductors right now up to 2.30. Had a nice bounce but all I'm saying is that it's really important. Look, Applied Material, isn't this amazing? Applied Material, great company, et cetera, comes out yesterday, whoosh, to the upside, goes to 166.53. But on closer look, it's leg D, goes right to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, gets repelled. And then what do we look at when we're getting closer and closer? 164 yesterday was a round number open before it went to an all-time high. And then it pulled back right to the 9 and 14 period moving averages. Today it went right to the resistance I had drawn in here. Leg F in the weekly chart. A leg C, GSAS C in the monthly chart. I'm just saying keep an eye. This is your clue. So now let's go through a bunch of them. Advanced micro devices, advanced micro device, AMD, uh, arch formation, huge dreaded H, took out the left side low, had a bounce, and now an even smaller rally. I say advanced micro devices is in a big consolidation, 161 area uh, back in uh, uh, December the 3rd-ish or so. 
plummets down to the low just recently of 125. I would say 40, 35 to 40 points is a serious thing. Leg B on the downside uh, in the weekly at a PD. Uh, here we go. We'll just do a couple before we go to the break. I think we got Come on, very well. ASML, ASML, this is holding down from its all time high. You can just go on and on. A TSM, fantastic company, Taiwan Semiconductor, new all time. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, billable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, okay, so we've just got a couple of minutes before you go to Larry Pizzarenti. Great program for the rest of the day. Of course, you've got Larry, you've got, uh, you've got Think or Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. And then we've got the long weekend. We'll see you all on Tuesday. Now, a couple of things. Question about... Um, um, Basil, what probability do you put on the S&P 4420 print and within what time frame in 2022? I, I think not by Tuesday, but by um, this time next week, the whole of next week, I'll be working on that. And I'm going to give you some ideas of what I'm looking at. But first of all, I, don't, I can't talk about 4420. All I can say is a close any day, not a weekly basis, a close below 45, uh, 45.77, uh, close below the 45.70s any time in the next week and a half will be very impactful as far as I'm concerned for that weekly chart. And then I think we retest the 44.95 area. And that makes the whole area of 46, uh, 46.91 to 40, 47.12 
really strong resistance. So just keep that in mind. I'll get to I'll get to the rest. There's still leg B in the monthly charts. I don't want to talk about the 4420 just yet. We'll deal with that. Next question is Newmont Mining statement. Uh, Newmont Mining. Uh, I agree with Basil. If the pattern is anything like South Africa, oh, the Omnicom, uh, we will go uh, parabolic in the peak and then start to fizzle. Well, just remember that South Africa, the statistics are just completely skewed. They do not have the numbers. Uh, the tests that they have are on a tiny percent, 12 percent or 13 or maybe 18 percent of the population. So those numbers, it's just the idea is, that's the idea, yes. So I, I wouldn't go with the South African numbers. It's the gesture of the idea that, yeah, it's going to have a big flurry and then fizzle out. Let's keep that in mind. Newmont Mining, uh, trading at 60.71. If a new month starts to trade under 59 in the next two, three days, that's going to say gold is going to be stuck and it's not going anywhere. If you want money trades in the 63s by Wednesday of next week, I think gold has a potential to be better. Have a wonderful long weekend. I'll do the news next and then hand you over to Larry. Because if you want to check out my daily newsletter, I don't think I want to hit